And now these three remain, faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you his peace. Amen. My favourite version of the first part of Psalm 62 I learned in a song from Teze, and I'm going to sing just the chorus for you now. In God alone my soul can find rest and peace. In God my peace and joy. Only in God my soul can find its rest. Find its rest and peace. Overcome by fear, worry, illness and death. May you know Jesus hears and loves you. Suffering is not what God desires for you. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Faith tells me that no matter what lies ahead, God is already there. I I took some comfort from the list in Ecclesiastes of a time for this and a time for that. Verse 5 says, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. I celebrate the fact that one day we can hug each other again. But also, I kind of felt it doesn't feel as bad the not having to be near each other because maybe this has happened before and it put it in some kind of larger perspective for me. My heart is full of Christ and longs its glorious matter to declare. Come and maintain thy righteous cause and let thy glorious toil succeed. Dispread the victory of thy cross, ride on and prosper in thy deed. Through all earth triumphantly ride on and reign in every heart alone. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Let us pray for our friends and family and church and everyone out there in the world. Amen. All shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. Julian of Norwich. In the Easter story, I love it when Jesus turns up with his friends who are huddled together in fear and grief and says, peace be with you. May we know that. God has loved and forgiven you, affirmed and accepted you from before time began. You are precious in God's sight. These are difficult times, but nothing can take that away. Remember that. These words from the Iona community have never seemed more appropriate. Gathered and scattered, God is with us. In suffering and hope, God is with us. Now and always, God is with us. And Jesus said, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Dear friends, I just wanted to make this video and just encourage you all this season of the coronavirus pandemic um, to continue to hold on to God's word. Um, According to Jeremiah 33, 3, it says, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Saviour's love. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Because whilst all this stuff is going on, I see um, spring is starting to emerge all around. You know, the the buds are just starting to come out. The leaves are just starting to come out. So whilst everything around us seems so chaotic and turbulent, actually, when we stop and wait, there are deeper rhythms 
that are more primal and are more um, more secure and more steadfast. Be still and know that I am God. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet upon a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. In these times, choose courage over comfort. Oh, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the end of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he's done. With Jesus in the boat, you can smile at the storm, smile at the storm, smile at the storm. With Jesus in the boat, you can smile at the storm as we go sailing home. Part two. Sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home. With Jesus in the boat, you can smile at the storm as we go sailing home. Right, that's it. Lockdown has finally gotten to me. I'm even doing the gardening. Help! Send coffee.